let's just chat about the ending to Blink Twice. Now, please, I admonish you. If you haven't seen Blink Twice yet, please see it. It's one of the best movies of 2024. I have issues with the ending, but the overall movie and concept I like. I think director Zoe Kravitz did a fantastic job with the craftsmanship of the film and the story. She co-wrote this film. She worked on it for quite some time. I just have an issue with the ending. That's just me. I think the ending is flawed, and I'll get into why. There will be heavy spoilers. Please, if you haven't seen it, come back after you've seen it and let me know what you think. Again, I don't like this ending, and there actually was an alternative ending but that was test screened and they ended up going with it. So I hope that we see the original ending to this film instead of the theatrical ending we got. But having said that, spoiler alert. Link Twice is a rated R psychological thriller that tackles some very heavy trauma triggering subject matter. I'm going to be as mindful as I can. I will be sensitive to the language I use in this review because I want to be considerate. But this film is dealing with sexual violence and there are images, imagery that are triggering. And so is a lot of what I'm going to cover. So I'm going to be careful with words I use so that I can be really careful and mindful of who may see this video. Okay, an overview of what's going on is we follow our protagonist named Frida who's brilliantly played by Naomi Aki. She plays a cocktail waitress, and she has a roommate and best friend played by Alia Shawkat called Jess. They're waiting one evening at this benefit, and they meet our villain, tech billionaire Slater King, played by Channing Tatum. It's a backstory which is really important to his character arc as a villain. He is a tech billionaire who was in some hot water, had to step back from his company and install another CEO for some inappropriate behavior. And now he is on this public relations spin to improve his public profile by donating a significant amount of money to this charity. And on this night, he is being honored. While he was quote unquote canceled, he had purchased a private island. And on this private island, there is a rare flower. He has concocted a topical fragrant drug in the form of a perfume called Desideria that once is applied to the skin and seeps into the pores, can advance amnesia and suppress trauma. And as we get to know him even more, we find that he has been using this potion on unsuspecting women, making them amnesic while he has his way with them. And not just him, but his entourage, and other men that he invite to his private island to participate. This potion that's like Rufalin is called Desideria. They're schmoozing with Slater and his entourage and these new girls that they've met. Slater ends up inviting Jess and Frida to his island for a getaway. The movie for the first half seems to be a slow burn as if nothing's really happening, but everything is happening. And we go along being manipulated by the audience. We are being manipulated into believing that this is a good time, liquor is flowing, the weed is plentiful, they're partying, they're boozing, they're having a good time. That's what we, the audience, are to believe. In actuality, these women are being sexually violated. So we go along with this journey thinking it's hunky-dory until we realize, no, they are being violated. And not only are these men doing it, whining and dining them during the day, and then violating them at night, but they're also inviting other men on the island to participate. And not only are they allowing other men to participate, but they're sending them into the world with the Desideria too, so that they can violate women while they're not on the island. That's important to the ending too, why I don't appreciate the ending. So all of this is going on. Meanwhile, there is a groundskeeper who recognizes Frida from a previous time she was on the island that she doesn't remember. The groundskeeper, her name's Badass Maid, but she recognizes her because of her nail art. She had a red rabbit on her nails and she calls her Red Rabbit. They don't speak the same language, so that's all that she communicates to her verbally. But then one day she gives her this potion of venom from these snakes. Listen, the snakes are not venomous, but we just have to go along with it. I feel like they use these snakes to keep everyone safe during production. So, okay, we'll just have to go with it that these are venomous snakes. She's been killing the snakes and 
de-venoming them and bottling it up for the women. And so she gives, the groundskeeper gives the, the venom, and once Frida sips of it, she realizes what's been going on the whole time. She doesn't know yet that she was here a year earlier, but that her memory of that trauma has been dormant the whole time. She doesn't know that yet. But she starts realizing that her friend that she came to the island with is missing. And the other girls, because they haven't sipped the venom yet, don't know what she's talking about because their memories are suppressed by the morning. After all of this has happened, they forget what happened the night before. And so she realizes that her friend just has been murdered. She communicates this to Sarah and then gives Sarah a sip of the venom. And now Sarah remembers. And Sarah, this is very important, promises that she is going to help survivors. Our girl Sarah steals the scene at the dinner table. She is aware, conscious of what's been happening to her, but she's got to hold it together to survive. She can't let the men know that she knows what they've been doing to her and the women. But she says, I'm going to use what I've learned on Survivor Babes and teach other women and girls how to survive their trauma. Adria Arjona steals the scene and really the movie. It is gut-wrenching that she finds it her responsibility to do that if she can survive getting off of this island. Remember, this island, they are literally trapped. They flew in on a private jet and then had to use uh, vehicles to get to the location. And Zoe Kravitz does a really good job showing the aerial shot of them snaking like a serpent to get to the island. And it just shows how difficult it will be for them to escape because they're literally prisoners on this island. So the last shot we see of her, we know that, you know, the survivors in the real world, they're in good hands with her. Frida has a monologue where she says, you know, even if I were to show these pictures and call the police, no one's going to believe us. No one is going to believe women, no matter how much we cry, no matter how desperate we are, no matter how we tell them we've been violated. They're not going to believe us. They don't believe women. They're going to side with the men. And when you see those Polaroids that Christian Slater has been taking the whole time, it looks like they were consenting, that they consented to what happened on this island. That's what the pictures paint. So they burn this mother down. And in the midst of that, Rita has slipped the desideria into his vape. He's been vaping this whole time. She slips it into his vape, and then he comes to realize what's going on. Frida drags Slater's limp body from the house to save him from the fire. The rest of it burns to a pulp, including the evidence. She saves him because her agenda is to marry him and use his wealth because she believes, and she says quite a few times, it's her motto, that success is the best revenge. That's what her mom taught her. So the ending and why I find it cringe and problematic and doesn't work after we have been rooting for the protagonist and we've been along on this journey with the women to survive this, but she is not only going to marry the rapist and have access to his fortune, but no plans to help the other women that her husband violated. The final scene is a book into one of the first scenes where we're at the benefit and the Slater Foundation has just donated money again. But now we realize that Frida is married to Slater. She's married to him and has access to his fortune. That might be good for you. But what about all of the other women that they have violated on the island and off the island? She, as his wife, has a duty, a responsibility to make sure that the women that have been violated are OK. Who knows how much desideria is out in the world? And you feel that success is having money, I have a problem with that. Now, they play James Brown's The Boss, pays the cost to be the boss. Her running motto is success is the best revenge for you. Now you have this fortune. What are you going to do to help the women that were also violated by your husband? That's one. The next is she is poisoning him, really, his memory so that he doesn't remember and it can be inferred that she is now raping him. So now you are, you're you no better than a sister. <laughs> you're just like him. And I don't find that that is a satisfactory ending. 
to taking the audience along on this journey, rooting for the protagonist, rooting for these women, only for her to be the antagonist now at the end of this film. I don't agree with that. And I'm hoping that they release the original ending and hope that that original ending is a heck of a lot better than this one, because this is so flawed. It's flawed for the character and it's flawed for the audience they took along on this journey. Now, Sarah, she's out there fighting the good fight. But this also should have been fought with Frida, who has access to this fortune. She doesn't have the evidence <laughs> that these men were on this island, but she has the fortune. And to not even allude that she is helping other survivors or victims, or even her friend who was killed by this man she just married, that is, I, I, I don't agree with it. I think that is too flawed for this character. Pays the cost to be the boss. At any rate, <laughs> that's my take on the ending of Blink Twice. Again, I like this film. I do. I just think the ending is flawed. Did you like this ending? Because, oh boy, it's a doozy. Thanks for watching.